Ha! Friends and family, fats and dogs, ladies and germs, milks and cows, trees and frogs. This is gonna be a good one today. Ooh, I haven't even had any coffee yet. The energy is just coursing through my veins for no apparent reason. A lot of people ask me, where do I get my coconut substrate? Where do I get it? Where does it come from? I'm gonna tell you today. Nobody actually asked me that. I'm just making it up. But you guys just have to take my word for it on everything. If you happen to have not been born with the sarcasm gene, today might be a little bit, I don't know what. If you're unable to appreciate comedy in any form, it's also maybe not gonna be the best video for you. If you ha don't have both, oh, this is gonna be a rough one. <laughs> Before we get out of here, let's pop in on old Queenie. Oh yeah, we're, we're leaving, we're leaving. I need to show you physically what, uh, nothing yet. Come on, you can do it. The little eggies are waiting to come out. Come on, eggies. Come on, eggies. Come on, eggies, old queenie, old girl. Can you imagine what's gonna happen once I actually do get some coffee in my blood? All right, guys, come, come say bye to the family with me. Dang! What you do, whoopie woo? What you do, whoopie woo? What you do, whoopie whoopie woo? She dance, she dance with the fancy pants. She do a little thing with the handy hands. Dee, 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 dee. Uh, come tea. Come tea. Okie dokie. <laughs> My smoochie too. Thanks tea. Look at fun. What are you seeing there? What are you seeing there tea? Anya? Oh, you've been drawing on yourself tea. You've been doing the artworks. What? Oh, you want more snacks? Okay, we can do more snacks. Okie dokie. Is it flying the house? How many smooches can one? Mm, how many smooches can one girl get? How many smooches? I love you, T. Yeah. <laughs> hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Ice carvers. Ice carvers? Yeah. <laughs> what about ice carvers? Well, they carve ice, and they have. Sharp tools, and that's all I know. Oh, like you're talking about the person, the ice carver? Yeah. Are you an ice carver today? Yeah. Eli, come on, give me a hug. Yeah, you have to go to work, bud. But I'm leaving. He's I want a hug. Boom. Boom. We got the same suits, but different. But yeah, they're a little different. Yeah, but mine doesn't have yet the same suits. Yeah, and or black. <laughs> and also this map is just it because it goes in that square. Yeah. <laughs> and I made a stamp. <laughs> hey, Eli. You like? What? What do you know? I know. Velociraptor. Velociraptors? What about Velociraptors? That they have sharp claws and teeth and good speed and good claws and a tail and that's all I know. You gonna help mommy clean up the room today? Sorry mommy, you're on your own. <laughs> mommy! Yeah, you gonna help me. Zap! <laughs> Alright, we got about a three hour drive and uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along for the three most interesting minutes of that drive. Ready? Start the timer. Let's go. It's been three minutes yet? Might as well share, might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bitty while. Some good stuff right there, boy. So I was doing my morning routine. I started thinking about uh, started thinking about this movie I remember seeing. I don't remember the name of it. I think it might have been Cutters or something. It was with uh, it was with Robin Williams. He basically would go through and make memorials for people who had passed. And it was like in the future where everybody had like video chips implanted at birth or something. Basically, like your whole life through your eyes was recorded and he would go through and and put together a little story for memorials for people of their life and cut out all the bad stuff basically and, and you know make all these lives look like fairy tales it very much made me think about what I'm doing here you know daily daily video stuff and there was actually when I was a kid I remember thinking wouldn't it be cool if I just had a little camera through my eyes that I could just like snap my fingers or blink and and have the camera right there now in this movie 
There are also all the people that, that didn't want to have their lives recorded and they thought it was invasive. But, you know, you had this thing implanted as a kid, so they'd get, like, these magnetic tattoos that, that scramble the signal. Very much related to, you know, what I'm doing, recording daily life, editing it to be a nice story or something entertaining. In this day and age now, that privacy is kind of going out the window, right? Like, if you have a cell phone, you might as well kiss your privacy goodbye. Like, the only way to truly not be recorded or documented whatsoever, you got to take your cell phone and smash it and throw it in the trash and not have one with you. If you're being honest with yourself, that cell phone is recording everything you do. Guaranteed. 100%. No ifs and or what's about it. That the cell phone is recording you. No way around it. Unless you smash it and throw it away. You could either do that or you could take the route that I'm kind of taking, which is I don't need my privacy. I don't care. I will open up my life to the world and let people see it. It doesn't really matter to me. I, it's like the opposite. It's like you can't spy on me because I'm putting it out there. You can see whatever I do whenever I do it. I don't really care. But that's just my mindset. For those of you that really do value your privacy and, and don't want anybody looking in on your life whatsoever, what you buy, what you're shopping, you better destroy your electronic devices now and throw them away. Oh, that's all, you know, that's, that's just the truth. Go out in the woods, live in a teepee somewhere by a river so you got water. <laughs> it sounds kind of nice, actually. There's definitely part of me that yearns for that type of life. But there's this huge part of me that loves being part of society now. I don't know if I'd want to trade that at this point. If I didn't like people as much as I do now, I'd probably do that, that electronic smash smash it all it's been three minutes yet it's all right to be a little bitty a little hometown or a big old city i've never stopped here before i don't know what you guys have in other states but in california we got these vista points where you stop and have a nice view of whatever and i've never stopped this one before but this is this is the view <laughs> it's the it's the most ridiculous vista point they don't even have this this vista point is so weak that they don't even have there's not even parking spots. You have to pull over on the side of it and put your put your blinkers on. They got Highway 5 right behind us, trucks rolling by, and then whatever this thing is down here, power plant. This is <laughs> Look at all the trash. Well, welcome to the Central Valley Vista Point. Beautiful. Jimmy! Do you ever wear shoes? You're always in flip-flops. I've worn a shoe or two in my day. I was gonna do this whole segment where I came in here and pretended like like I stole cocoa blocks and that's where I got my, my substrate. Like I was gonna come and like take chunks of coconut and like... Is that premeditated thieving? Yeah, premeditated thieving. I was gonna take it, ch chunk it up and stuff it in my pockets and like keep stuffing it and walking by you and Jesse until you guys noticed that I was walking out of here with my pockets filled with coconut substrate. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be funny. This is what I thought of this morning. And then I was gonna like title the video, they're, they're on to me, and like, I don't know. You must have been really bored and no coffee in your system. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I had, hadn't had any coffee yet. That's exactly what happened. I just wanted it to be funny, Jesse. I just called you Jesse, I'm sorry. A couple shades darker than Jess. Yeah. A couple shades. Only a couple, you're, you're not that dark. Although he's a lot browner inside than I am. What does that mean? Okay, one time we went to, uh, a Mexican store and the ladies were talking to me and I looked at him and he was spitting Spanish and I'm like yeah what he said you know Spanish is not the only brown language out there it's the majority though yeah I guess in California that's yes, true. yes in California yes very true in Spain people there are a lot of blonde haired blue-eyed people in Spain oh yeah I've, I've met a few I'm not one of them clearly so basically what my purpose of coming to you is that I need some comedy to make up for my lack of being able to follow through on the little skit I was planning to do because it was going to be fake. That was the problem. It was going to be a fake skit, which I don't have a problem necessarily doing fake skits, you know? Well, I, well no. Apparently I do. I want them to be real skits. Is it possible to do a real skit? Well, yeah. You don't tell anyone what you're doing. Oh, you mean, you know, tell the people on the camera what I'm doing? And tell the people involved as well. Say, so, hey, I'm going to rob you, but pretend I'm not robbing you. Good point. Good point. I didn't have any to, like, to create that fallacy, I guess. Again, again, you would probably need to drink a little bit more coffee, maybe an energy drink or two, and then you'll come up with the genius mastermind plan that you normally do. Well, here's the thing. I drank like two coffees on the way here, and I'm... Like when you did the whole wilderness thing, when you were talking like you were Australian or British or whatever, I don't know what accent that was, 
That was kind of a comedy genius right there. A little bit. Thanks, Jimmy. I'm going to have to do something like that again. Maybe... Oh, I got an idea. What if I did a thing where, like, I pretended um, that I steal all my coconut substrate from here, and then I can come in and, like, fill, fill my pockets with coconut substrate, try and sneak around until you guys notice there's coconut substrate falling out of my pockets. Would that be funny? Probably not. Look at these two <laughs> clowns. What are you talking nothing about? Nothing done in here. We're trying to do Absolutely something Absolutely nothing. Man, how is it look? We look kind of rough. And then this guy comes in like he just came in off a modeling shoot. Oh, I just got a nice haircut. Don't be jealous. <laughs> Where's the cul-de-sac going? Oh, look at this. Flushing. Raining. It was oh, raining on the cul-de-sac. <laughs> he's actually working. It was raining on the cul-de-sac. He's actually working. The hurricane hit. Don't give him that much credit. Don't you see the that. sweat, bro? He's got yeah. sweat. He's actually been working. That's what happens when you work. Oh, no, man. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just warm in here. Can you, show us, can you show us the coolest snake, snake in the room? No. No? No. All right, All right I'm going to have to find it myself then. There's too many cool ones. How can you pick the coolest? It's a good point. It's a really good point. Pick something cool, but then I'll be like, oh wait, there's another cool one, so the video would go on and on and on. Pick the coolest one. That's such, a, I know that's like a, that's a huge challenge and that's asking a lot. But I'm, this is a day I'm asking for help today because I, I need help. Oh, we're standing right in front of it the whole time? Ooh. You're such a dong dong. Uh, look at that thing. Is that the core blower? I mean, I'm not saying it's not cool, but I am saying <laughs> that you're pulling my chain right now. <laughs> look at this bad boy with it, holding on to a piece of coconut. Coco blocks. Insane. That is the coolest snake. Show us something cooler. Show us something cooler and we'll send you a Coco blocks. What happened to your thumb, bro? I wasn't moving fast enough and he backhanded me. All that means is you need to move faster, Jimmy. That's all right. <laughs> now check this thing out. This is a bamboo blackhead vanilla. This is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. That's like really sweet with those light blue eyes. And look at how the alien heads are, are nicely contrasted. You got thin lines, but yet, you know, thin lines outlining the alien heads, but yet the contrast against the, the background pattern is pretty freaking sweet. Every time I come to Freedom Breeder, I'm gonna make sure to show you guys at least two or three of the snakes that I that catch my eye and just let you enjoy them with me. Ow, my toe! Why we wear shoes around here? Okay, I really like this one too. This is a cinnamon Mojave leopard and of course, the Mojave gives you the, those nice alien head, heads right there. And then when the leopard and Mojave mix, you get these nice, the alien head starts running this long streak down the side of the body, becomes one with the universe. And then that cinnamon bringing out those nice soft brown colors and that patternless head, nice and clean looking head. And ooh, so nice. Oh, so sweet. Uh, so good. Ah. Mm, that right there, see that? You know what that stands for? Tell me if you know what that stands for. Comment down below if you know what that stands for. So the truth is that I do actually steal my Cocoa Blocks substrate from Freedom Breeder. I just kind of run around the side and there's these big pallet of it out there and I just kind of grab a couple blocks and <laughs> shove them in my truck and then <laughs> run away without telling anybody. But I really do think that they're onto me now that I've started talking about it in front of people. This is the ball python we're gonna adopt out right here. It's a het clown. <laughs>